maximum zestiness. Hey, Lily, you look cute. Absolute disrespect and lack of care for any living being. Man, Lil bro in a certified menace of black Air Force energy. Hey, Lil New, you better sit down before I beat the shit out of your little punk ass. Oh my God. These are some of the phrases to describe the absolute craziness that transpired during the upper menace meeting. Alright, so if you've been keeping up with Demon Slayer, then you already know what we fit to be talking about today. But for those of you, for whatever reason, have not been watching Demon Slayer, let me bring y'all up to speed real quick. Spoiler warning, by the way. So as you all know, our boy Rengoku, rest his soul, was jumped by the Black Air Force demon Akaza and eliminated for life. And Tanjiro and Nosuke and Zenetsu was not gonna let that slide, so they decided to get it back in blood. So with the three Musketeers and the Riz Hashira Tengen, they was able to jump Gyotaru, this seaweed hair, a Ruchibaro curse mark, look at that nigga right here, who is also the sixth Upper Moon Demon. And they were able to successfully kill an Upper Moon Demon for like first time in 113 years which is a big deal i don't know how these hostlers are so sorry that they haven't been able to do that in 113 years but shout out to the gang for spinning back on the upper moons and of course since the upper moon died is a huge deal muzan the demon king and the menace himself summoned all of the remaining upper moon demons including the black air force demon akaza to put them all in check this meeting is also known as the upper menace meeting all right now that you guys are all caught up let's get straight into it so akaza makes it to the meeting area and we get introduced to the fifth upper moon yoko or gaiko or I'm gonna just call the nigga Geico, bro. I don't know how to pronounce that. And, bro, this has to be one of the most horrendous creatures to ever violate my eyes, bro. Like, bro, this man has goddamn eyes inside of his mouth, and he has mouths for eyes. Like, ugh. You know this nigga breath must be mad musty, bro. He gotta be smelling like straight Plus, the nigga lives inside of a goddamn pot, bro. That shit is disgusting. Like, bro, if you don't get out of that nasty-ass pot and take a shower, uh -huh. bro, get some body wash and deodorant. But anyways, Geico was talking to Akaza, saying that he's happy to see that the Black Air Force demon didn't get spun back on. Are you serious right now, bro? But Akaza wasn't even hearing anything this nigga was saying. He was just waiting for him to back up with that hot-ass breath. Hi! I don't care. So then Akaza was wondering who the fuck died. So he asked the Biwa lady if Upper Moon number one died. Because that's the only nigga Akaza really cares about. Bro's really trying to boot gang the Upper Moon spot from him. But before she can even answer, we get introduced to one of the main menaces during this meeting. The second Upper Moon, Doma. The Zest Demon. Akaza, <laughs> <laughs> settle down. Aren't you worried about me, cutie? I beg your pardon? So Doma spawns in out of nowhere straight on sus time. <laughs> Bro put his arm on Akaza on some hey. And Doma just start rising up a casa talking about something i miss you so much a kazi wazi <laughs> You know you're one of my comrades. But Akaza wasn't having any of that shit, bruh. Bro said, Doma, cut that gay shit out. You know I don't mess with that. <laughs> Damn! But this is why I call Akaza the Black Air Force Demon. He really does not give a fuck at all. Bro just snatched Doma's whole jaw off. Hit him with the goddamn fatality cutscene. But that shit didn't even really do anything. Doma ate that shit like it was a damn Happy Meals. Then he proceeded to Lil Bro Akaza. Doma said, <laughs> that was a bit stronger than last time. Right, bitch ass nigga. And Akaza was just looking at him like, is this nigga serious? But before this escalated, the lady from rings interrupts them and lets them know that the upper menace number one has been here the whole time. Huh? Bro has like Max stealth or some shit because he was the first one here and none of them even sensed him. Entire time. I'm actually in my house. Chill it. So then Koki Yoshiba told everyone to sit the fuck down because the big dog Muzan is here now. What if I told you Muzan had that dog? Bruh. And we already know Muzon is a damn menace from the last meeting Man, with the lower moon. So we'll just straight up in that whole damn division because oh he didn't fuck with them anymore. So you know this nigga ain't finna be happy with the upper moons. And I was right, because first thing Muzon says is that Gitar was the upper moon that died and immediately after called them all worthless. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Bro really said, I expect nothing out of you sorry ass niggas. You niggas haven't accomplished a single thing. You can't get rid of the damn demon slayers. And what about the blue lily flower? How the fuck have we not found a damn flower? It's been hundreds of years. You guys are sorry. Then Muzon straight up just said i'm starting to question why y'all even exist and this shit made akaza go from black air forces to light up sketchers real fast my nigga was really having a staring contest with the damn floor bro was so ashamed the whole time so then geico was like lord muzan i'm not like the rest of these sorry niggas i actually have to but Muzan didn't care at all. Bro used his goddamn head snatching quirk from My Hero and just boot ganged Geico's head and told him, Shut the fuck up, nigga. You know you about the ugliest nigga here. I don't even know how you got here, bro. I don't know what type of connections you have, but you about ugly as hell. Get your nasty ass breath out of here. Anyways, I'm out of this bitch. Fuck all you niggas. You need to leave. 
And this is when the real disrespect between the three menaces, Kaza, Doma, and Kokoshibu started. So Doma wanted to go on the mission with Gaika, right? But since the big dog Muzan left, Kaza strapped his black air forces back on. He was right back on his timing and wasn't having any bullshit. So he smacked Doma's head straight off. And Akaza was like, Muzan didn't say you could third party. Stop being a bum. And Akaza really thought he did something here. But Kokoshibu instant transmissions out of nowhere and straight up cut Akaza's hand off. So he did that shit so clean that nobody even heard or saw him until the hand was already touching the floor. And then Kokoshibu just started lil broing Akaza, a black air force demon. Cut that shit out, Akaza. You know you ain't like that. The Doma just grew his head back and was like, yeah, Kazuwazi, you know you can't run our pockets, but that was a cute little slap. <laughs> Like, nah, bro, they just violated Akaza in front of everybody, bro. And that's not even the worst. Kokoshiba was telling Akaza to basically just stay in his place as the third moon and that he can't actually box with him and Doma. But then Doma took it a step further and said, <laughs> Koko Loco, don't worry. Even if he wanted to run our hands, you know Akazi could never beat us. He's too weak. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Nah, bro. Kaza was not for to let that slide. So he told Kokushiba straight up, Fuck all of that, nigga. I'm gonna kill your ass. But bro, you know they ain't taking that shit serious. <laughs> Kokoshiba was like, all right, bro, sure. If that's what you really want to do, make sure you try your best, buddy. Better get to a hyperbolic chamber with your weak ass, nigga. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> So yeah, that was the Upper Menace meeting. We got to see firsthand Akaza getting bitched by half the niggas there and Doma just being an absolute zest demon. Uh -huh. The disrespectful levels in this meeting were honestly crazy for the fact that nobody even really fought. It was just straight instigating, bro. Anyways, bro, remember to like and subscribe. I'm gone.